Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be doing a video for the very first time. I'm doing a Halloween bundle uh, for 2023. I did go around and did collect some stuff from Spirit Halloween and Big Lots and probably some other stores, but I got a few things I want to show you. And I want to show you this here, the, the box in itself. I do have another box. And I'm going to show you a projection, which is pretty cool. And I got some Killer Clown coffee mugs. Those are pretty awesome. I got those from Spirit Halloween. And in a separate video, I'm going to show you a Plague Doctor mask that I just picked up from Party City. And that one's actually pretty cool. I like the color scheme and everything. It's got a very steampunk look about it. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this camera back so we can look at these particular products. And show you my very first Halloween bundle. Could be the last one, who the hell knows, um, for 2023. So let me go ahead and shut this off. Grab my box. Pull this back. Now let's look at this thing very closely. Now I think I got these from... Um, not Spirit Halloween, but I think Big Lots, they had them, and they were cheap enough, so. But anyway, let's just look at this, okay? Now, I thought it would be cool, you know, just throw these on the shelf and stuff, and they look very cool, okay? And you got the spider feature to it. All right here. Well, that's pretty cool right there. Hang on, let me get my shadowing out of the way there. You're like, oh, stop moving up and down. Okay. You got that, you got that, and the back of it. Okay. And the sides, okay. Kind of like blood splatters in a way. Open up the box, and what do you got inside the box, okay? And you can put all kinds of things in there. You can put your drugs in here too, guys, okay? They'll never know. <laughs> I'm just joking about that. But anyway, that's one of the boxes that I picked up. Can't remember what the prices were. But I thought they were pretty cool, very Halloween aesthetic. Let's move on to the bigger box here. Pull that back a bit. Okay. The Complete Apothecary Anthology. This would be cool to get a hold of a book like this. I might look it up and see if they actually have a book like this. And then I might purchase one because I do, I did not my own apothecary I actually made it. It's basically a bookshelf. You put your own touch to it. When it comes to its creepy factors, you throw your, um, your spice jars on it. Your apothecary jars. Anything, you know, creepy spiders and stuff like that. I did do a video. I think it's sitting on my um, channel right now. You might want to check that out if you want to see what the apothecary looks like. It's since changed since I've done that video. I kind of moved things around a little bit. But apothecary is very cool. Very witchy. You know what I'm saying? Now on the side right here it says potions, poisons, elixirs, and tonics. I'm trying to pull that back so you can see it. Okay, it's pretty much the same as the other one, with the exception of the size. But when I seen these, I was like, oh, that'd be really cool on my uh, bookshelf and stuff. All right, I think this is pretty cool. Open up the box, and bang, it's a bigger box. More drugs. <laughs> Just messing with you. Now, this next thing I'm going to show you here. You can get these at Spirit Halloween. They are projection type things. You just kind of set them up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And you just drive the spike into the ground. You turn it on because it's a plug-in feature. And what it does is it reflects, um, you know, like uh, Jason's mask and stuff like that. On a wall or on your house and stuff like that. So I ended up picking one of these up. I thought they were cool. All right. And I'm going to show you what it looks like once I plug it in and stuff. Right, I'm going to show you against the green background here. Okay. Now this is the actual box. It's a bit. It's a bit confusing because if you notice right here, where my thumbs at, 
it is in the color and the shape of a pumpkin and I think they do that for Halloween aesthetic purposes especially if you're outside and you you put them around pumpkins it'll kind of blend in now me personally it would have been cool if it was actually a Jason's mask or something like that but that's just me you know what I'm saying but they do that for that probably for that reason anyway okay and that's what the box looks like okay Friday the 13th okay so now let me get this thing set up for you I'm gonna let you see what it looks like and then we're gonna go ahead and plug it in okay all right. Okay, here is what she looks like here. Okay. Now you'll see it's set up like a spike where you can drive it through the ground. And it pretty much just, you know, stands there. And you can adjust it and stuff like that. And it reflects off your uh, house or your wall or wherever you want to do it. But that's what that side looks like, okay. Get that shadowing out of the way, we'll be good. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in. And what it does is it kind of rotates. And you'll see the reflection. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let me just go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Okay, she is plugged in. Now, when you do plug this in, there is no switch to shut it off or on. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Now, let me just kind of raise the camera up a little bit so you can see it. See how that works? This looks really cool against your house and stuff like that. But these things they sell, they got one for Freddy Krueger and I think one for Jason here. And I think It is also another one they do. But anyway, that's what that looks like. I think these are pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and unplug that. in a second guys all right now we're going to get into this palm reader which I got at big lots okay this thing's pretty cool now one thing I've noticed about these uh, I went to another big lot just yesterday and they got smaller ones but I accidentally dropped it and they break rather easily so you want to be careful with these things if you ever buy them at big lots okay This is basically for palm reading. It's, it's, a, it's a very cool Halloween aesthetic. And it looks good on your shelf for the most part. And that's what the hand looks like. Okay. These are only $13. Okay. The smaller ones are like $4 or $5. Okay, let me just... There we go. Give you an idea what it looks like. Okay, I think that's freaking cool. But it looks good on my shelf. I give it like because it's fortune telling and stuff like that. Witchcraft, I mean, it's associated with those kind of things in a way. It's uh, all telling. But these are cool. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Let's get into my mugs. Okay, now I got these from Spirit Halloween, and I've been getting into. Um, Killer Clowns for the most part. And when it comes to Spirit of Halloween, they're really associated with Killer Clowns. They make the masks, the costumes, all kinds of statues and figures based on uh, the Killer Clowns. They even got a big gigantic animatronic sitting right in front of the store based on Slim, who is part of the uh, Killer Clowns. But anyway, they got some coffee mugs there, and I picked some up. Yeah, shorty, baby. Cute. 
killer clowns from outer space. And the inside of the mug is a standard mug, okay? Now, this will tell you how much it costs and everything, because I didn't pull the uh, sticker off of it. All right? That's one of the mugs. This next one I think is really cool because of the way it's shaped and the color, obviously, and it's a bigger mug. Okay, let's pull that back so you can see what it looks like. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's a representation of the uh, tent. Now, when I went in Spirit of Halloween the other day, they did have a uh, Clownzilla there. It was a little statue, but I never picked it up. I might actually order it online. But these things are cool, as you can see. These are really cool. Inside is nothing but red. Okay. And there's the bottom of it. Now this one's a little more expensive. Alright. But that's pretty much it on this entire collection. Now if you stick around right behind this one here. I will be doing uh, my Plague Doctor mask. I usually like to do those separate so I can put them in the playlist. Okay. But anyway, I've been getting into killer clowns and stuff like that. And this Jason viewing thing, I think that's really cool. Okay. But like I said, they got Freddy Krueger and they got it. And there's no telling what other ones they have. If you go online to uh, Spirit Halloween, I'm sure it'll show these things. These things are only like 15 bucks for these things. And they're reasonably priced, so I end up picking them up. The apothecary boxes and stuff like that, those are very cool. And they're good for my witchcraft shelf. Okay. And like I said, I do have an apothecary that I actually made from scratch and I stained it and everything and I threw all kinds of creepy stuff on it. Now, like I said, if you want to check that out, the actual video is somewhere on my uh, channel. Go ahead and check that out. But Killer Clowns, as of right now, I've been getting into them. Now I do have some figures coming in from Trick or Treat Studios. Those should be coming in whenever the pre-orders are available. And I'll show you what those look like. Uh, they have the masks. As well as the costumes, but they won't you, you won't find them on Big Bad Toy Store, except for the masks, and those are up there in price. They're like ninety to hundred dollars because of the size of them. Um, and like I said on Spirit Halloween, they got those statues and stuff. They got one of Slim, one of Shorty, and Clownzilla, and I think Fatso too. I'm not sure, but anyway, what they do is they actually light up. They're very cool looking figures. Okay. Uh, but outside of that, when it comes to Killer Clowns, they do have the popcorn gun, but that's like $106. I'm still thinking about picking that thing up because I do have the uh, cotton candy gun. Uh, like I said, I've been collecting these things for a while, and I got some Funko Pops uh, based on the Killer Clowns, as well as a little, um, it's a prop based on the cotton candy, the cotton candy body, you know, if that makes sense, the bag. And it has a face on it and stuff like that. I got one of those, okay? But anyway, I've been collecting Killer Clowns for quite a while, okay? But anyway, this is my collection so far. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos. And stay tuned for the Plague Doctor video, which is coming in right behind this one here. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day.